Montana's hotly contested U.S. Senate race was in the spotlight on Monday as Democratic Senator John Tester and Republican challenger Tim Sheehy met for a debate in Missoula. MTN senior political reporter Jonathan Ambarian watched that debate and has more on some of the heated exchanges. Tim Sheehy and John Tester last met for a debate in June, and when they got on the air on Monday night, they quickly began trading some sharp criticisms. Monday's debate in Missoula was presented on Montana PBS. In one early question, the two candidates sparred over abortion. I support the exceptions, rape, incest, life of the mother. I support uh, the, the, the right of a mother to make those challenges an incredibly challenging, you know, tumultuous time in their life. Uh, oftentimes without the support of their family, they're being forced to make these extremely challenging decisions, and they ought to know they have the right to do that. Uh, no question about that. But at some point when there's a viable life, another viable life included, uh, that life also has the right to protection. The bottom line is this. Whose decision is it to be made? Is it the federal government's decision, the state government's decision, Tim Shee's decision, John Tester's decision? No. It's the woman's decision. Tim Sheehy has called abortion terrible and murder. That doesn't sound to me like he's supporting the woman to make that decision. Each candidate accused the other party of playing politics on immigration issues. Sheehy argued Democrats hadn't taken border issues seriously until recently, and Tester criticized Republicans for not backing a proposed border bill earlier this year. It needs to be passed, and it could have been passed six or eight months ago. But the bottom line is, Tim Sheehy, before it was even released to read, said, nope, not going to support that because his party boss has told him that's what you need to do. That's not what Montana needs in Washington. Mr. Sheehy. Well, it's remarkable. According to Senator Tester, it's my fault a Senate bill didn't pass when it wasn't even a senator. Apparently, I've also sold our public lands in the last week and closed our hospitals. It's amazing how much influence they have for not being a senator. You're running yet. for the office, yeah. Tim. Your statements matter. Yeah, they do matter. And the statement is secure the border. During the final topic discussion on Native American health care, Tester also pushed Sheehy to apologize for insensitive comments about tribal members. The reality is, uh, yeah, insensitive. I come from the military, as many of our tribal members do. You know, we make insensitive jokes and, and probably off-color sometimes. And, and, you know, I'm an adult. I'll take accountability for that. But let's not distract from the issues that our tribal communities are suffering. And you can say, look, I'll take responsibility. But, you know, apologies matter. And how you treat people matter. And if you treat them with disrespect, other people will disrespect them. So like I said to begin with, you're a big guy. Just apologize. You apologize for opening the border? I didn't open the border. Tester said in his closing statement that he expects this to be the last debate he'll have with Sheehy this year. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. Jonathan, thanks so much. There were claims made by both candidates during Monday's debate, but just how many are true? MDN, uh, MTN has partnered with a nonpartisan website, PolitiFact, for this year's election. Fact checking our candidates vying for public office. PolitiFact is operated by the nonprofit Pointer Institute. Chief correspondent Lou Jacobson listened closely and detected several statements that didn't add up. Both sides have really um, tried to get the other to have sort of a gotcha quote where they point to something that they said that doesn't really fit with the rest of what they've been saying in the camp in the campaign um, and try try to leverage that to its maximum force by kind of exaggerating uh, what the, that sort of st statement actually means. If you didn't get a chance to watch that debate, we've got you covered. MTN has partnered with PBS to bring you an encore presentation this coming Saturday from 78 p.m. right here on Q2. Make sure to join us as we wind down to the election uh, that, of course, November 6th.